Hi, boys and girls. How are you doing? As promised, I am going to kind of walk you through um, lesson 1.06, maybe some of 1.07. It just kind of depends on what we get done in this next half an hour or so. I'm not really sure how long this video will take, but we're going to walk through it. I'm not going to read all the passages to you because I'm hoping that you guys will do that on your own. Um, as we walk through this so you know what to do so so right now um, on your computer it might be kind of hard for you to um, hold on one second okay sorry um, I was looking for something but it doesn't look like it's working so we're just gonna go with it so um, this is uh, your 1.06 Summarizing the mystery of the lost shipwreck. Um, so we are actually on the first page. And it has a picture of the undersea. And um, it talks about it's time to seek out adventure beneath the waves, just like the scuba diver. Um, first, scuba divers must double check their equipment before getting into the water. They also must be able to communicate clearly, clearly to other divers in the water exactly how exactly like you, how you develop your reading and writing skills. Scuba divers are also looking to develop their safety and diving skills. Before you dive into this next lesson, pretend to try on some of the common equipment used by divers. So again, they have four different slides here. Um, they're talking about the different types of equipment for scuba divers. You know, they're talking about the compressed air. Um, they're talking about uh, the flippers, like a penguin. We're talking about uh, air pressure, um, making sure you um, keep your air pressure low. So there's only four there. And then we're going to talk about what you're going to learn in this lesson. We're really going to focus on this one right here, summarizing the text and writing a paragraph. So those are the two things we're going to focus on. That's the reason why I have the video and created it for you. The other one, spelling and correct verb tenses, you guys can do that one on your own. Okay, um, so we're going to go ahead and keep going. This is the word wisdom. This is spelling. Again, this is talking about um, using spe spelling strategies. Um, spelling can be tricky. There's always all kinds of different exceptions to the rule. And so they're talking about different spelling strategies that they use for the word equipping and for the word expelling. Um, again, I'm not going to focus on that here. You can get onto your um FLV yes, and you can work through these, um, but really we're going to be focusing on the summarizing today in our 1.06 because that's what I really want you to focus on. The reading corner is the summarizing. Um, we're talking about how Carolina had a major underwater adventure when she went to look for the lost shipwreck. Um, share an adventure that you have with your friends or family members. So if you want to, if you're watching this video with a friend or a family member, Pause my video and share an experience that you've had with them um, about an adventure you've had. Um, talk about the details that you include. Why did you choose to include those details? It all goes apart, goes, goes with the summarizing that we're talking about. <clears throat> there is a video. Um, I'm not going to play the video on here because it'll look kind of wonky. You play the video on your FLVS. So pause me right now. Pause. And hopefully you've paused me and you've went and you've watched the video real quickly about summarizing. And then they have some reflection questions here at the end that they want you to talk about, um, you know, who was involved in the story, where did it happen, what happened, the problem, the solution, and what you learned from the experience, the theme, the, the, um, lesson learned, which is what we talked about last week. We're going to go ahead and move on. We talked about this in class. We talked about summarizing. Um, and in this particular slide, this is kind of like the meat of the lesson for 1.06. We're talking about summarizing. And when we summarize a story, it's important that we gather all the information. So we want to make sure that we gather the information about the character, we gather information about the problem of the story, the solution, and the conclusion, or other words, the resolution. So what we use to kind of 
gain that information that we need is we use this um, mnemonic device um, called uh, somebody wanted but so that actually that's not the mnemonic device sum is the mnemonic device but we're going to talk about somebody wanted but so then which is kind of what you guys have probably used in third or fourth grade where you know you read a short story um, and then your teacher asks you to summarize the story and most of you probably have used this somebody wanted but so then and we're going to use that today when you read this next story in this lesson so you're going to come back to this actually i think that there is a printable in your packet with this chart so you won't have to necessarily come back to this i think there's a printable a copy for you it looks like this i'm not going to click it but when i click it it's going to pop up this exact same chart right here so you have one in your your printable packet so go ahead and grab that pull it out so you see it you can have the visual when you summarize here in just a minute okay so um they talk about the different steps of somebody wanted but so then so when you click on each of the arrows it tells you what to look for when you're looking for each of these um summary checklists so for somebody you're going to be looking for who the main characters are so um I think they're referring back to the lighthouse story. Um, this one's not the shipwreck one. So it's the one before that. The one that you read before is what they're referring back to. Um, so you want to think about who the main characters are in their story. Wanted, you want to think about what did the characters want. Um, in the lighthouse story, Carolina wanted to ensure the lighthouse was working properly so the boats could make it to shore safely. So you want to think about what did the character want. And then the but is always like, what's the problem that the character faces? Like, this is what the character wanted to do. But in any good story, there's always something that's going to cause them to not be able to do this particular thing they wanted to do. There's always this conflict, this problem. And that's the but. So is how do the characters solve the problem? So you have to think about, okay, what did they do? What were the main events, the main sequence of events that led to them solving the problem? And then the then is the last part, and that's the resolution or the conclusion of the story. So how did the story end? So you can see how we have these five elements of a good summary. And that's what I want you guys to think about today. Someone's opening my door, so I might have to pause for a minute. Um, so this is your somebody wanted, but so then. Okay, that's your checklist. So what we're going to do... Uh, la, 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 la. What they do is they look at a sample of the story, the mystery, the mystery of the missing light, which was in your last lesson. And they're going to look through and see if it has all the elements of a successful summary, which chances are it probably does. Um, this is a really good tip. It talks about um, how do you decide when a detail is the most important. Um, and it does say it can be difficult to know which details are the most important to include in a summary. So you write a sentence or two for somebody wanted, but so then from the anchor chart, and you'll be able to stay focused on including only those important details. So using the anchor chart will really help. Um, so this is an example of a draft of the summary to the missing light, I do believe. So this is going through in the story, the missing light. You can see they use some transition words that we talked about today. Somebody wanted, but so then. Sorry, I had someone come in the room. So then um, this would be the draft. This is kind of like the rough draft that we were talking about. Um, it looks like this is the whole summary. They do use transition words. And then, so after you draft the summary, then we go into the revise mode. And they talk about the revised mode where you're going to take out parts that are not important to the story or you're going to add details that maybe you missed. So, again, we'll get to that. We're not going to get to that today. We're not going to do the revising today. We're just going to try and do the summarizing part today. <clears throat> and then after you do your revising, then you get to your final copy, which would look something like this. 
So again, that's what we want ours to look like eventually. So that gives you like kind of an example and you can kind of read through that um, a little closer. So we're gonna go to uh, slide five. Here's the story. So what I want you to do is I want you to read through the Carolina's Diving Adventure, okay? I don't know if you've read this already. This says that you might have read it again. You might've read it every once, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna be writing a summary for this story. So I want you to pause me in just a few minutes and I want you to go to your FLVS, find your mystery of the lost shipwreck, shipwreck, I don't know, I said that wrong. And then I want you to pay attention as you're reading to the characters, what they wanted, the problem they encountered, and how the story was resolved. So I want you to pay attention to the somebody wanted, but so then, as you read the mystery of the lost shipwreck, okay? So I'm gonna, I want you to hit pause on the video, go to your other tab for FLVS, and I want you to read the mystery of the lost shipwreck. So pause me, you better pause me and go read it. Pause. Okay, so I hope you paused me and you went and read the mystery of the lost shipwreck. So then what I want you to do is in your interactive notebook, this right here, your interactive notebook that you should have with you. If you don't have this with you, then get a piece of paper and a pencil, okay? And go to your next page in your interactive notebook. And what I want you to do is I want you to answer these think about it questions right here about the mystery of the lost shipwreck. This is gonna help you organize your thoughts for the somebody wanted so summary. So I want you to, again, pause me again, and I want you to answer those questions that you see highlighted right now in your interactive notebook right now. So at the top of your page, you can just put the mystery of the lost shipwreck so that we know those are the questions and answer the, the six questions for me. Pause. Okay, so. Sorry, I got distracted. So what you're gonna do after you have answered your questions, we're gonna, we moved on to the next slide. So we're on slide six. Um, and this is where they have you doing um, some um, check for your understanding with summarizing. So you might wanna pause me you will want to pause me and do these questions. I think there's three questions here. So you'll hit OK and you'll do these three questions just to kind of check your understanding if you're kind of going with understanding what I'm doing. And then then you're going to come down here. This is the gist of what we're doing. This is the reason why I'm doing this for you today. OK, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your summarizing anchor chart right here, the one that you have in your packet, or you can look at, at the computer if you want to. It's up to you and you're gonna use the answers that you recorded, the answers you answered in your interactive notebook just now, you're gonna turn the page of your interactive notebook and you are going to write a summary of the mystery of the lost shipwreck in your interactive notebook, okay? So you're going to turn the page, wherever your questions were, you're gonna put summary up at the top, and then you're going to write the summary somebody wanted but so then using these question stems right here to help you write a summary of the mystery of the lost shipwreck okay that is the gist of what i want you to do for, for 1.06 okay this is a graded assignment so you need to make sure that you're taking your time with it okay and if you have to go back and watch my video again that's fine it doesn't seem to be super long go ahead watch the video again okay but that's what you're going to do. You're going to write a summary of the mystery of the lost shipwreck. Okay. After you've done that, you could share it with, it says you can share it with a family member if you want to. That's totally fine. That's up to you. You don't have to. Um, you do not have to do the enrichment. We're, we're done with that. So we're not summarizing another story right now. You're just focusing on this one. Okay. The mystery of the lost shipwreck. Okay, so I'm going to pause it. You can pause me and go to your interactive notebook and work on your summary. Okay, so pause me. When you're done, unpause me, and I'll tell you what to do next. Yay, you did your summary. Fantastic. You've unpaused me, so that means you finished. So now what you want to do is you can go to page seven. Um, this is your word verb tenses. We've been working on those this last week. These are probably pretty 
review for you because we've been working on those in class. So you want to just kind of read through this again. There's a couple little um, activities they want you to do. There's a check your understanding here for the simple tense, which we again have been working on. Um, so you can do that on your own. Um, then you go to eight. Oh, this is familiar. You guys know this pretty well. We've been revising our responses in class. So again, you don't have to do this because we kind of did this in class. We already did this. Mom and dad, if you're watching, we did this in class. So they can skip slide eight because we've already done it. Okay. So make sure your parents know that you can skip this part. You've already done this. So um, then we're going to go to nine. Again, we talked about this a little bit on Friday. Um, again, we did a lot of this in class and we're going to continue to do some more in class. So again, this is not necessarily anything you have to do. Um, you don't need to revise your text-based responses. We've been doing that in class. So mom and dad, again, grandma, grandpa, whoever, um, slide nine we've done together. So you don't have to do that. Okay. You can skip it. It's okay. Um, and then 10 is what did you learn? It's a lesson summary of what you learned today. Um, I've walked you through it the best I can. Hopefully this is as easy as, as cake for you, I hope. Um, and there is a check your understanding. So I would like you to kind of self-check yourself and see if you guys can kind of understand those, those um, the words have escaped me. Transition words. There's um, a couple questions on transition words here, which we did in class. If you don't remember them, go back to that lesson and review them real fast. But we did do some of these in class. You remember some of those. After you do the self-check, you and if you feel like you're comfortable, you can start the quiz. Um, remember, here's your assignment. It says, what is your assignment? You actually are doing the quiz. Remember, you have to go up here. This little arrow up here, it'll take you directly to the quiz. All you have to do is hit start, and it's like a 10-question quiz, okay? So that's how... <sighs> That's as about as easy as I can do with the walking you through the 1.06. Um, I will probably do another video for you tonight, walk you through 1.07, because again, we're working with summarizing and idioms and things like that. So um, if this helped you, hopefully that helped you. I hope it helped you walking through this and understanding um, what I wanted you to do for this module or lesson. I say module all the time. Um, so when you come back to school next Monday, group A or group B for Wednesday, I'm expecting to see those summaries, okay, because that is a graded assignment and it needs to make sure it's done, okay? All right, summaries and your chart for 1.07. Make sure you get that chart done. If I don't have a video for 1.07, you want to get that um, figurative lingo chart completed too for the next story, okay? All right, so if you have any questions, you can always email me, class dojo me, or you can Google Classroom me and I will get you as soon as I can. I will talk to you guys all later and see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.